Bir means righteousness. So Allah says that it is not righteousness and that tuvallu, you turn. And this you is plural. That it is not righteousness that all of you turn. Vujuhakum. So vujuhakum is wajhun means face. Buju is its plural. Buju hakum your faces. Qibla al mashriki towards the east. Qibla means towards the east, wal maghrib and the west. Walakin, but al birra righteousness or righteous is he man who amana he believed billahi in Allah. Bay means in or with Allah. Wal yawm al akhir and al yawm means day. Al akhir means the last. And whoever believes in the last day. Wal malaikati and the angels. Wal kitab and the book. Wal nabiyyin and the prophets. Wa atha and he gave al mala wealth. Mal means money wealth so he gave wealth Allah hubbihi for his love if I take you above again wa al mala and he gave wealth Allah hubbihi hub means love okay Allah hubbihi for his love he gave wealth for his love keeping his wealth keeping his love in mind to Allah then he makes subcategories that who these people are, who the wealth should be distributed amongst. Zawil Qurba. Zawil Qurba means the kindred. Okay, Al Qurba, Zawi means of, Al Qurba means near, which will mean the kindred, near, near relations, close family members. And he also gives wealth to Al Yatama, to the orphans. The, plur the singular of al yatama is yatim, and the plural is al yatama, wal masakin and the needy. The singular of masakin is miskin, wabna sabil and the wayfarer, the traveler, wasa ilina. Asa il means one who asks. We say. Sawal means a question, and Asail is the one who asks, meaning the ones who ask for, for money. So he gives Asailina, he gives to those who ask what Al Mal, he gives them wealth as well. Wafirikab and for or in the captives, meaning to um, to release the captives. So you can see. The subcategories that Allah has mentioned, the will qurba, the kindred, wal yatama and the orphans, wal masakin and the needy, wabna sabil and the wayfarer, was sa'ilina and those who ask, wa firrikab and in the captives, to release the ones in the captives. Then in terms of hukukullah, meaning the rights of Allah, wa aqama salata and he observed as salata, the prayer. Wa ata zakata, ata he gave a zaka, the zaka. Wal mufuna bi ahdehim, al mufun means those who fulfill. 
Be him with their promise. If I take you above, be him. Okay. Him means their, ahad means promise, be means with. Be him with their promise is a when ahadu, when they made a promise. Meaning that when they make a promise, they fulfill that promise. Was sabirina, and those who are patient. Now, this is very interesting. People often think that patience is only for certain situations. But you can see Allah has now subcategorized the, the moments in our life when faced by such difficulties, where should we be patient? So Allah says, وَالصَّابِرِينَ Those who are patient, فِي الْبَعْسَاءِ In poverty, وَالضَّرَاء And afflictions, وَحِينَ Hina means during. Or in the time of al bas means war. Ulaika these meaning all the above. These are Allah those individuals, those people. Sadaku, they were truthful. One of the attributes which was given to the Holy Prophet وسلم, was a Siddiq. A Siddiq means the truthful. The first caliph of Islam, his name was Hazrat Abu Bakr Siddiq. Anhu. Siddiq means the truthful. So it is these who are sadaku, who were truthful. Wa'ulaika and these are whom they are al muttaqun God fearing. Let's cover the next verse as well. Ya ayyuhallazina amanu. Kutiba alaykum al qisasu fil qatla. Al huru bil hurri wal abdu bil abdi wal unsa bil unsa. Faman ufia lahu min ahi his shay un fatiba um bil maruf. Wa ada un ilayhi bi ehsan. Zalika tahfi fum mirabbekum wa rahma. Famane tada ba la zalika falahu azabun alim. Ya ayuha. O ye, Allah Zina, those Amanu, they believed. O ye who believed, Kutiba, it was written, it was prescribed. Alaykum, Allah means on, kum means you. It was prescribed on you, for you, al qisas retaliation. Allah says, in retaliation, is it general or is it for specific things? Allah says, al qisasu retaliation fil qatla, in matters of where one is slain. Retaliation was prescribed on you, al qisasu retaliation fil qatla in slain. al hurru a free man, bil hurre, with the free man. So retaliation can be that a free man will be. Um, if we go to the translation, it will be the free man for the free man. Okay. Al Huru, the free man, Bil Hurre with the free man. Wal Abdu and the slave, Bil Abde with the slave. Wal Unsa and the female, Bil Unsa with the female. Faman, Fa means so, man who, or who so, Ufia was granted remission. Lahu for him. Min from Akhihe, from his brother, Shayun something. So if I take you here, that. But if one is granted any remission by one's brother, okay, Faman who so Ufia was granted remission, Lahu for him, Min Akhihe from his brother, Shayun something. Meaning if he, if he was granted some sort of remission from his brother, Fatiba'un, fa means then ittaba'un, pursue, bil ma'arufa with realization. Wa ada'un and paying ilayhi towards it with bi ihsanin, with fairness. Zalika, this takhfifun is an alleviation, mir rabbikum from rab your lord. Kum yo, rab means lord. This is an alleviation from your lord. Warahma and also mercy. Famane Tada Faman Huso E Tada transgressed Baata Zalika after this Falahu 
then lahu for him is azabun is a punishment that is alimun that is grievous so inshallah next week we will continue and uh, we will revise verse number 179 again before we continue inshallah assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh